टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन विच इज सोर्सेस ऑफ फूड एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हियर इज लॉन्ग आंसर क्वेश्चन सो लेट एस इमीजिएटली स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ इज हनी मेड ओके सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज फॉलोइंग आर द स्टेप्स इन्वॉल्व इन प्रोड्यूसिंग हनी फील्ड बीज फ्लाई आउट फ्रॉम द हनी कोम टू फाइंड फ्लावर्स एंड ब्लॉसम्स दे फ्लाई फ्रॉम फ्लावर टू फ्लावर एंड सक आउट द नेक्टर यूजिंग देर स्पेशली एडेप्टेड टंग्स नेक्टर इज स्टोर्ड इन स्पेशल सैक इन देर बॉडीज वंस द फील्ड बीज रिटर्न टू द हनी कोम द नेक्टर दे ब्रिंग बैक इज ईटन बाय हाउस बीज विच एड एंजाइम्स फ्रॉम द बॉडीज टू द नेक्टर दैट टर्न द नेक्टर इन टू हनी द हाउस बीज then regurgitate that is remove from their bodies by spitting out through their mouths the honey which is stored in the cells of the honeycomb so dear students what happens here is there is a process that goes on while producing honey so the field bees which work on the field just like any field person okay they fly from flower to flower and suck out the nectar and once they are back then what happens they mix their enzymes into the nectar and they regurgitate what is regurgitated it is nothing but removing uh, the this nectar plus the bodily enzymes from their mouth okay so in this way honey is made and it is stored in the cells of the honeycomb let us move on further second question explain the difference between herbivores carnivores and omnivores so the difference between herbivores carnivores and omnivores are as follows herbivore herbivore animals feed on plants okay while carnivores animals eat the flesh of other animals and omnivore animals can eat both plant as well as other animals then herbivore animals have a sharp cutting teeth in front of their mouth and flat grinding teeth at the rear of their mouth whereas carnivores have well developed sharp teeth known as canines to help tear the flesh of prey carnivore animals also have claws to hold on to prey whereas omnivores animals have teeth in between that of herbivores and carnivores they have a sharp teeth to tear the meat but also possess a flat grinding teeth to crush the plants okay now let us see the examples the examples of herbivores include cows goats buffaloes deer zebra etc whereas carnivore examples are lions tigers eagles leopards and omnivores include human beings pigs bears etc okay so these are the differences between herbivores carnivores and omnivores let us see third question what are the functions of food answer to this question is the main function of food are as follows food is a source of energy to the body when we work with our bodies and perform activities like thinking running walking jumping etc we use the energy obtained from food the nutrients contained in food help the body to grow and also repair itself by re replacing dead and worn out cells the nutrients contained in food also help body's immune system to safeguard the body against various diseases so these are the various functions of food so body takes help of the food for growing for doing daily activities as well as safeguarding itself from various diseases well let us see fourth question what is food chain explain with an example here you will write a food chain is a sequence that shows how each living organism gets its food in particular environment example plants okay plants are eaten by grasshopper grasshopper is eaten by shrew and shrew is eaten by owl so this is how they are dependent on each other in food chain shown plants prepare food from sunlight using carbon dioxide from air by the process of photosynthesis and since the plant produces its own food it is a producer 
while the grasshopper eats the plant as a food to get energy it is therefore classified as a primary consumer then comes a secondary consumer such as a shrew which eats grasshopper as a result a shrew lies one level above grasshopper in the food chain the shrew in turn is a food for a tertiary consumer such as an owl in the example shown the owl is at the uppermost level of the food chain so plants forms the base of the food chain because they produce food by using various resources like sunlight carbon dioxide and this process of course we know it has photosynthesis and then plants become a food for other animals like grasshopper which forms a primary consumer and then comes the secondary consumer which are dependent upon the animals like grasshoppers and then comes the tertiary consumer so tertiary consumers are the tip of the food chain okay whereas base is formed by the plants let us see fifth question quickly how are the teeth of carnivores different from those of the herbivores here you will write carnivore animals eat the flesh of other animals while herbivore animals eat plants the teeth of the carnivore animals are adapted to tearing flesh are usually long and sharp that serve an added function of puncturing vital organs and killing the prey the teeth of the herbivore animals are adapted to cutting and tearing leaves from plants and then crushing them therefore herbivores have sharp front teeth to enable them to cut the leaves and flat teeth at the rear of their mouth to enable them to crush the leaves or other plant material that is usually quite tough and fibrous okay so this is a difference between the teeth of carnivores and herbivores then comes the last question for the day what are parasites and explain giving two examples so we have to give two examples also so here you will write parasites are the organisms that depend upon other organisms for their food the organism that parasite depends upon for food is known as the host the parasite is usually harmful to the health of the host and can even kill the host some examples of the parasites are the cascuta plant which is a parasitic plant that grows on other plant and inserts its root like projection known as hosteria into the host plant to suck out the nutrients from the host plant the cascuta plant does not have a well developed leaves and relies mostly upon its host for obtaining food then there are other example like mosquitoes leeches bed bugs these are examples of parasites that survive on the blood that they suck from human beings and other animals since these parasites live outside the body of the host they are called ectoparasites so in short parasites are the organism that depend upon other organisms either they live inside the body or they live outside the body and they take the nutrients of the host organism it can be a plant as well as animal well students that was all from my side if you have any questions feel free to ask you can put your questions in comment box i will try to answer each of them thank you for attending this session see you during next session with a new topic until then take care bye bye